to ask her. You all having fun? Yeah. 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 A little different than normal. It doesn't feel yeah. like work. Well, every segment, there's this anticipation. What's, yeah, what's coming up next? next? What are the producers going to be putting into our laps? And we're sitting here right now, and there's Lonnie Love. We're here at Pink's right now, yeah. everybody. Yeah. And I have Kathy and her daughter, Isabel. And Isabel has a question for the doctors. Hi, um, I just turned 13, and a lot of my friends have been talking about tampons. And I think I'm going to start my cycle soon and was wondering how to insert a tampon correctly. Oh, that's a great question. I get asked that question so much by my young girls. Basically, and you want to start with one, even though it's not as environmentally friendly, you want to start with one that's plastic just because it's, it's more friendly to you. And then you want to get in the bathroom and you just want to get to know your body and take your time and, and just get to, get to know the applicator, how it works, and just read the directions and just gently insert. And we have one right here. I don't know if they can see us. Um, so basically what happens is yeah. that, you know, you take the wrapper off. And again, plastic, the cardboard can pinch. So even though this is more environmentally friendly, and then there's also the type that you can just put in with your finger, that's very easy for, for new starters, too, unless you're squeamish about putting your finger in there. But basically, it's, it's just like a target, OK? And so you just get it in there. You got to just kind of spread things. So you got to get comfortable with your anatomy. And, and, and the vagina is a muscle. It's a, it's a muscle so that it's going to accommodate anything you put in there. So you just put it in there, and then you shoot right up there, and it goes up there. And then the, any of the blood that comes down here, it fills up the tampon, and then when it's full, you pull it out. You want to make sure that you don't leave it in too long. So depending on the size, if it's small, extra small, small, medium, large, you don't want to leave it in longer than four to six hours, because then oh. it can get infected. But tampons are your friends. Well, great question. Thanks, Lonnie, for helping us out today. And I'm being told the producers have one more big surprise for us. It'll be when we come back. I wish I knew what it was. As the seasons change, we are getting closer to flu season. In today's Cold Solutions by Mucinex Fast Max Liquids, I'll explain how we catch cold viruses, how they spread, and what you can do to reduce your risk of catching them. A cold is a viral infection that can be passed from person to person. The most common way to catch a cold is through direct contact with someone who has a cold. Here are a few tips that can help protect you. Wash your hands often. Avoid touching your mouth and nose, and drink plenty of fluids, and exercise regularly to keep your body fit. And if you do catch a cold, you can always use an over-the-counter product to help relieve your symptoms.